Alright, uh, next, I'm. We are going to remove the motherboard, and these are the screw that need to be taken taken out. So, uh, here the system board here. I have. Um, I remove one this screw here. There's another screw right here to take off the LCD. assembly so now we're going to remove this screw here this screw here this screw this screw and we're gonna detach this um, speaker connector we should be able to take out the motherboard okay so after <clears throat> I remove this uh, this screw here this screw here the two screw here then you should be able to lift up the system board but um, this is you have to work um, a bit to get the board off first um, what I did was I rem of course I take this piece out first here then what you do is you have to <coughs> holding this side like this and pulling at the same time you pull this cover here you pull you kind of Pull this side out. Okay, it's hard for me to do when I'm holding the camera. Okay, here we go. One side, one hand, I hold this one. The other side, I pull this. See, I flex this piece right here to work like that, and to to take this piece out first. This side. Then the next thing you're gonna do is I hold this side, okay, lift it up slightly so free from uh, lift the board up slightly so you can slide out this side. You, you slide out this side at the same time, flex this and pulling this piece out. And, and lift this thing up and the same thing down here you just have to hold this piece on here and pull out slightly and the, the system board should come up like that and this is a speaker just leave it alone we don't have to, we don't have to do anything with the speaker just leave it now the system board come off Okay, to remove this connector here, this is a modem, this can be a pain, very difficult. So here, here the, um, see there is a slot slide here, there, there's a slide, there's a, so what it is, this thing right here, slide in between. So to remove this connector, what you have to do is, you have to pry out. Somehow you need to pry this thing here. You have to pry them out somehow. Okay. And this one. Okay. It's, it's, it's like that. Like that. So to remove this connector, you need to pry out this. At the same time, you can flex out this piece right here. At the same time, pull, pull this thing up. Okay, pull up straight up. What I do is I just put this. Uh, where am I? All right, here we go. 
what I do is I use this screwdriver here to do I'm using this one here. Yeah, I'm using this cloth head screwdriver here. I slide to the bottom, okay, and pry it up, okay. At the same time, I pull this thing out. Pull this out, this one right here, I pry it down and pry it up like that to get this thing off. It's a pain, but I finally got it. Now the, the system board come off. Here are the other side. So now easy now. I just have to take up the hissing and I should be able to put the new uh, CPU in. Okay, so I take the board off and this is what it look like. Yeah, this is what it look like and this is what the board look like. You see the other side. Here's CPU here. So I'm going to remove this CPU or this heat sink. Then I should be able to access the CPU and replace it with a new, a new one. Or upgrade with a new one. This is um, here's the modem connector and this is a, this is a power connector yeah. okay the next we're gonna remove the heat sink which is the bolt right there the two bolt yes this one here this one here so I'm removing the two um, screw here uh, we should be able to lift this thing right up but let's see okay so after I remove the two screw here, just lift this thing up and pull it out. And this is what it look like. Here the chipset, here the CPU here. Um, here the hissing, I just take it off. See what the hissing look like. See the one I have is... Uh, two gigahertz. Let me see, let me can, if we can focus this. Okay. See, the, what I have is 2 gigahertz, 3 megabyte of cache. The one I'm going to replace is going to be 2.66 megahertz, going to be 6 megabyte of cache. The front side bus is going to be the same, 1066. And um, this is the P model, so it's gonna run at 25 watts. See, you can also replace the T model, or uh, T model, uh, model, but those T has a 30, uh, 35 watt. So I decided to get the one low wattage, so it can run the battery last a bit longer. The next. To remove the battery, just slightly turn this thing. Okay, to turn, turn that counterclockwise. Okay, you can hear the click here. Should be able to remove it. Take it off. That's it. And you set. It's off. Pop a new CPU in, and that's what do it. Probably a good time to replace the battery because this is this computer is 2009, that's 16 years old. 10, uh, that, that, no, that's six, six years old. I would suggest you to replace the battery. I didn't think about it. You see the old battery here. 
Shut the way from your battery coming. Let's see. Does it do it? And um, if I have a chance, I'm going to. When I put everything back together, I give, might give you another video. See how it does. Okay. <clears throat> this is the old one. This is the old one. And this is the new one. The new one, the model I have here is P9600. So. <clears throat> So the thermal will be very much the same. So the new one I have is two point six 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 megabyte cast and the front side bus with ten sixty six should be the same. So this car should give me a big big boost to my computer. See this is the new one, the new one has 6 and this model is P9600 and <clears throat> to clean this is the chipset here to clean it the, the, I found the best way to clean it with this thing here this thing is, does a very good job of cleaning the old thermal the own, the own paste of the chipset and the heat sink. So I need to, I'm going to clean this thing off, take this thing off, and put the new thermal. I'm going to use this Arctic Silver Fire. This is what I have. So I'm going to use this. And I'm going to. <coughs> you see the paste. You're going to. After you clean up, you're going to use this one here and apply to here, 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 and you, of course, you're going to apply to the new, new CPU with that. Use this one to clean this up. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm back, everyone. So I have everything put back together. You know, just like um, earlier, that uh, I upgrade uh, this laptop, uh, HP, the, um, this is the 3000 series, um, 3015 NR, uh, I successfully uh, put everything back together, um, I upgrade with the new CPU, um, uh, Everything go very smooth when I put everything back together. We now in a bit, uh, back in business, so I'm going to um, turn on the computer and show you that uh, everything run great. So I'm going to start it. And I'm going to press escape here to get some information. Everything works. The sound, the uh, I test the sound, the back even the back uh, the backlit keyboard is all work awesome. This this computer has a backlit keyboard. That's which I think it's introduced 2009, eight or nine, and pretty much very much loaded. Uh, it has a built-in DVD ROM. Uh, okay, here we go. So I'm going to do F1 and you see the uh, processor type okay this is the new one Intel Core 2 Duo P9600 I think the one I had earlier like 7004 some in change something like that um, <clears throat> but you see the 2.66 Hz so that reflect the new uh, uh, the new CPU I just uh, upgrade so we, uh, you know <coughs> we know that um, everything is successful uh, 2.66 <coughs>
Okay, so I'm going to go to F2, the BIOS. System information. Okay, okay, press F10. Okay, here. Okay, here a new CPU in the BIOS. 2.66 P9600. Okay, and you see in, in the Windows um, Windows screen, you see that it does reflect a new CPU. And by the way, this is Windows 10. And um, I got this, everything work on Windows 10, so if anybody has problem to install Windows 10 on this particular laptop, let me know um, I might make another videos because there's some driver that needs to be installed <coughs> to make uh, window 10 working properly but I, I, you can see that I have no yellow exc uh, exclamation mark this computer also have a uh, fingerprint reader and uh, I found a driver that, and a software that make it to work also it has the Bluetooth and um, built-in camera. Let's go to. <coughs> I also, by the way, I also upgrade. See, this is Bluetooth here, and I got working. Also, the uh, the driver for the touchpad is also working. Everything work. The slide up and down also working. Um, I did upgrade this computer with the SSD. Okay, this is the new SSD I had. You know, while I'm doing this, <clears throat> I go ahead and upgrade the, uh, the hard drive Signif uh, significant faster. And uh, I want to boot up and use my own hard drive. Here. So, okay. Uh, Wi-Fi and everything is working. Sound also work great. Here is CPU here. The Wi-Fi also work great. So anyway, <coughs> good luck everyone. Um, I'm so I got everything working uh, right. I have no problem to put everything back together. So and and help everyone. That doing this upgrade for this particular laptop. <clears throat> Good luck to you.